The great Russian ballerina, Anna Pavlova, has been dead now for many years, but her many admirers still recall with pleasure and nostalgia those inspiring moments when they watched her dance her great masterpiece, The Swan. Yet few of those admirers know of the most amazing incident connected with her life. It is an incident that occurred three months after she died. came of Pavlova's death, there was sorrow backstage in every theater in the world. One of those who felt especially bereaved was a young English ballerina named Frances Doble. She was so much greater than the rest of us, and no one will ever dance as she did. Three months later, she was to remember what she had said, but that, of course, was only after she had started rehearsing her new ballet, the ballet that her composer friend told her about the day after Pavlova's death. To be the story of her life and work. But where on earth will you find anyone to do the lead? You? Oh, no. I'm much taller than she was. I can't even pirouette three times to the point. You're still going to do the lead for me. Oh, John, I... imagine me playing Pavlova. A month later, as the pianist rehearsed the company, two intensely interested spectators sat in the darkened auditorium. One was the composer himself. The other was Lady Eleanor Smith. This is her big number. It's the climax of the whole thing. I tried to get as close to Pavlova's swan as possible. You mean it's the same routine as the swan? No, not the same exactly. Francis couldn't touch the original, of course. But it's rather similar to it without being so difficult. Uh, Watch her, Lady Eleanor. I want your opinion of this. And so Lady Eleanor Smith leaned forward, watching Francis Doble with a sharp and critical eye. She leaned forward, but only for an instant. And then she was sitting bolt upright in her seat, clutching the composer's arm. John! John, who is that up there? Why, it's Frances, of course. Who else could it be? But it doesn't look like her. That isn't Frances's figure at all. Looks smaller, doesn't it? Smaller and more delicate and, and lighter. Almost like... like... Yes, I know. Like Pavlova. That's not the way Frances Dobel dances, John. She, she's never been that effortless before. There's only one dancer in the world who ever has been. What does this mean, John? Could that be... It couldn't be. No, of course not. It's Frances, all right. But I can't understand what's happened to her. The two spectators sat in stunned silence for a moment, staring incredulously at the figure on the stage. And then suddenly the composer was on his feet. Good heavens! What is it, John? That's not the routine she's been rehearsing. Three pirates sur la pointe. Yes. And that's something Frances can't do. She's never done it in her life. She told me so herself. The moment the dance ended, the composer tore himself from his chair and ran wildly down the aisle. Tell me how in heaven's name you did that. Did what? I don't know what you're talking about. Frances Doble had no recollection whatsoever of having danced the scene. It was an incident without parallel. An incident incredible but true. (laughs) 